What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling with me AB. Now check this out. Let me just start this video off by saying look happy Thanksgiving you guys. Hey with that being said listen I know you guys have seen that thumbnail your mouth should be watering you didn't read that title. So listen today I'm getting ready to show you just how easy it is to make. Look this is just a pineapple upside down cake. Let's get it. I want you guys to take a look. Not a whole lot of ingredients. These are just like your basic ingredients for making a good cake, right? Look, you got your sugars, but then you know it's an upside down pineapple, right? So look, we got pineapple juice. We got our pineapples. We got to have our cherries. And listen, this right here, look, this is softest silk cake flour. I suggest you guys look for this and get this right here because I start all my cakes with that. And I got to say this part too. Listen, that came from a subscriber and they told me about this product right here. And ever since then, I've been rolling with it. So I'm not going to over talk it. Let's just go ahead and get it. Okay, so look, what I'm doing is right now, before we make our brown sugar topping, because I make that first, right? If you look over here, I already preheat, I'm starting to preheat my oven. That'd be the first thing you want to do. Now we're going to come over here and get into this pot, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to start melting some of this butter. Butter is melted, right? So now we're going to add our brown sugar. All right, we're going to mix this together. So look, after a couple of minutes, we got, you know, I just want to whisk it. Make sure everything is incorporated, the butter and the sugar. Look, you can see it's starting to, it's not quite as thick, so you know it kind of like melt, right? So now I'm gonna come with my heavy whipping cream. And we're gonna go ahead and give that a whisk. Look at the color change. Man, this is super simple, I promise you. And then check this out. Now I'm getting ready to come with, after we mix that, look, I'm gonna adjust my heat. Get this back down just a little bit lower. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add my sea salt. I like using that sea salt, give you a little bit more bite, make it a little bit tangy. You know what I mean? Can't really explain it. That might not be the right way to say it, but listen, with all this sugar, a little bit of this salt though, go a long way. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fire off. We're gonna let it work, because we don't wanna cook it. We don't wanna make no caramel. But this right here, that's what we're looking for. Now I'm gonna set this off to the side, and now we're gonna go ahead and make our cake. Look, I didn't show this part on camera because listen, it's really self-explanatory. Look, I got a 13 by nine aluminum pan, right? Obviously these are binder clips, and you know what I did was I took some parchment paper and we put this down. That's up to you guys. If you wanna trace the bottom, you can do that and not do this, but it's easier for me to do this, take a couple of binder clips and do that, right? So we just put this in here, move it all around so we can get an even bottom. Now, now that we had a chance to let it, you know, our topping, you know, cool, our brown sugar topping. So look, now we're just gonna go ahead and add this. So now I'm gonna take my spatula and I'm just gonna go ahead and just coat the bottom. Real simple. This is actually the bottom of this is gonna turn out being the, the whole thing. This is gonna be the top, just like that. Now you wanna go ahead and get your pineapples, right? I'll bring these in so you guys can see. And this part right here, hey look, I forgot to mention this part. This is a great, you know, holiday, you know, project to make with your family. As I always say, just like you see. Now, you wanna go ahead and get your cherries, right? And we're just gonna add these just like this. I know some of y'all looking at it right now like, ah, I got it. Especially if those ain't never uh, made one of these that always buy one or you always had your great aunt or somebody like that that brings them. This right here, look at that folks. I set that off to the side, you know, got that out of the way. So listen, I'm gonna keep it real simple. Come on in there and look at this. Look, get yourself a bowl. Now, I don't know how to make this any simpler than this. Look, take all of the rest of your dry ingredients, right? And you just wanna put them inside. For you bakers that really like to get down and do all that, that extra, you can get yourself a real, real fine sifter and just, you know, do it like that to make it super fluffy. But this right here, I tell you, it's gonna be fire. Look, we're just gonna add everything here. Now I want you to tell me who can't do this. All right? Get yourself a whisk, and then we're just gonna incorporate all of this in here. Now that we're done, we got this mix, right? Put this over here, then you want to get yourself a larger bowl, right? Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take, hey, I'm gonna keep it just as, as simple as I just said, all of the dry went into one bowl, now the rest of your ingredients go in this, and everything else is wet. So look, 
We'll take these. Oh, and one thing I gotta tell you, listen, room temperature eggs, folks. After getting everything incorporated, you know, folding it all over, now's the moment of truth. So all you gotta do is, we just gonna pour this right on the top, right? So we'll just go ahead, go like this. You just saw it, super easy. And then listen, since it's cake batter, and once you put it down, as long as your, your, uh, your counter is level, when you put it there, it's just gonna level itself out. You could take a spatula if it needs to go over to the corner, just, you know, in all the corners, you can do that too. And listen, if it's kind of like a little bit on the lumpy side, listen, we just gonna trust the process. Cause listen, if we wanted to have it real, real smooth, we would have probably used a hand mixer. But listen, we just wanna fold it in, just keep going like that, and there you go. Hey, so I don't over talk, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in there. Now once we got it in the oven, we're gonna set ourselves a timer for about 40 minutes, then we're gonna check it at least till the toothpick runs uh, dry and we want it to be a nice golden brown. Alexa, set a timer for 40 minutes. Soon as you take it out, look, you wanna set yourself a timer for about four minutes, right? That's what I always do, four minutes. I get myself some parchment paper. When it's done, I set that on top and then whatever platter or whatever I'm gonna flip it over with, we gonna upright it with, we put that it's parchment paper and that on top. So my timer went off, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my parchment paper there because I don't want nothing to stick to my, my board. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and set this right here like this. So one, two, three. Right, just like that. Right, so now we'll go ahead and take this off like that. And as you can see, we got it, right? So now we'll just go ahead and take this and then we'll roll this back like this. And guess what, folks? We got pineapple upside down cake. Okay, so look, check it out. You guys see this, right? I'm not gonna cut this, you guys gotta trust me. And if you guys are following me on Instagram, I guess Twitter, uh, Facebook, listen, I'll cut it, show the inside of it and all that. But listen, when I tell you it's super moist, it is. And then the aromatic that comes off of this, mm. So the reason I'm not gonna cut it, cause look, this is one of the cakes that I'm putting out for Thanksgiving. You got it? That's right, I guess all you guys got it now. Hey listen, so I don't wanna give them one with it where I didn't cut one and then try to put the piece back in there. And don't forget, I got to eat it, right? So that means I to put a piece back with a, with a mouth, a big mouthpiece, you know, missing out of it. Hey. Super simple, gotta try this. I don't know about you guys, you know what I mean? Uh, this is kind of like tradition on my end, you know, when you talk about Thanksgiving, but this is it right here. Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and I want you guys to tell everybody out here, check it out. Listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And this is gonna be real hard for me not to run my finger across the top of this. And with that being said, you guys, I'm out. Peace.